Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Structure Deck for the question today and what we need to be focusing on. And if you would like a personal reading with me to focus on your own journey, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com for all the information. So thank you Angels, what do we need to be focusing on today? What's the energy? Well, we've got one card, one card sticking out and one at the top there. So the energy coming in today is, will they leave the karmic energy? Well, maybe that's on your mind right now. And you could be seeing that as a challenge or a block. What's challenging the connection? So what's challenging the connection is the fact that they may need to leave the karmic partner or leave the karmic energy or leave what's going on. And what's happening to the Divine Feminine at this time during separation or during the time when they need to leave the karmic situation is to find peace with it and to realise that they'll do it in their own way, in their own time. That's how they follow through on their you know, convictions. It's how they do what they've said they're going to do or what they know they need to do. So if you're feeling the karmic situation is a block in your connection, you're being reminded that the block is perception. Remember, any karmic energy or partner or person is helping the connection to move forward in some kind of way. In other words, it's creating the masculines, the, it's creating the power within the masculines to change. So let's really use the masculine message tarot and see what the masculines want you to know. So just looking for that deck here. So will they leave the karmic energy? What do you need to know about it? We've got the Nine of Cups. You are the reason all of my dreams are coming true. So what your masculine is saying to you is, you're what I want in, your, in my life. You're the reason all of my dreams come true. You're the one I want. So for that to happen, for your dreams to come true and be together, then they have to leave the karmic energy. They have to divorce. They have to release what feels toxic to them and what isn't serving their soul. But they also need time to do it to understand things from a fresh perspective, to let go and heal the way they view things before. So there's always a necessary delay when we are coming into awareness of something. And feminines, this works for you too. You know, you need time to understand things from a fresh perspective so you don't judge the karmic partner or judge the masculine for remaining with the karmic partner and you don't judge the situation. You understand that when you let go and you trust the love enough to understand that they will be with you at the right time that's meant for you because you're the reason all of their dreams are coming true, then you heal the way you viewed things before. And then any previous blocks or challenges begin to release. So what's challenging the connection right now? What's challenging the connection? What's challenging the connection? The Knight of Cups. The masculine needs to come forward to the feminine. So what's challenging the connection is, or what's blocking the connection, is the masculine knows he needs to be the one to reach out to you. And you know, Divine Feminine, that you're learning to release control. So you're learning to take that step back so the masculines can step forward. The more you continually reach out, the more you create an endless cycle of that. And as much as the masculines want you to be the one to contact them and want you to be the one to reach out, they have to take control and take back their power. So what he's really saying here is, expect me, I'm on the way. Any blocks or challenges are being lifted. We're working through them to be together. And I have a vision of what I want. So the vision is becoming clear. So if there seems to be a block or a delay or anything in the way, or a challenge, it's while things are being aligned in the higher realms, so that you can have that life together, and create that vision of what you both want, and I am really feeling again this timeline of February just gone, when the masculines really started having that vision of the future, and knowing what they need to do, and that happened because the water rabbit came in, to create opportunities for this and that's why if they haven't been following through with those opportunities or stepping into those opportunities they've been experiencing a lot of physical pain within going through ascension going through things in the physical body that you may have been picking up on too and between now and September I'm really feeling a karmic shift so a time of karmic endings and change. And the masculine saying, I'm growing up because of our connection. So you're being reminded that the karmic connection helps them to grow up. 
helps them to learn and become the person they need to be for you. And they are growing up because of your connection. So your connection is proving to them that that life they are living in or that situation they are dealing with, it doesn't serve them anymore. So what's happening to you, Divine Feminine, during this time, whether you're in separation at this time or you're feeling you're missing them and it feels like you're separate from them, you go through chaos to bring in change. So you're realizing that everything, including a karmic situation, happens for your highest good. Changes happen to move things forward and you are finding peace with that. So in separation, in the times when they are still with their karmic partner, you learn to find peace with where you are. And you do stand up for what you believe in. That means you set your own boundaries down. You work on what you want. You speak your truth. You stand up for what you believe in. And then you work on your creative goals. So you work on the things you feel good about, the things that bring you joy. You focus more on you. You feel creative and passionate about what you were creating. And you are ready for the reunion. So you're saying, I'm ready for our reunion. I'm ready for us to come back in touch. I'm ready to help you with anything you need help with. But you're also being reminded to work on you and yourself and self-love to open those doors for reunion. So what I'm really feeling here is, first of all, a reunion coming in. So if there's been long separations or you've been waiting, you can expect this to come. And obviously let go of the expectation of the when, the how, because that causes disappointment. Instead, just know he's on his way because he's saying, I'm on my way. And you're saying, well, I'm ready for reunion. So I feel this coming in within the next three months. And anything that's challenging the connection, including a karmic partner that needs to be left behind, is happening to bring in a new perspective or a new way of looking at things. I need time to understand things in a new way because you're the reason my dreams are coming true. Hold that vision. So definitely between now and September, big changes and shifts within the karmic situation. All you have to do is stand up for what you believe in, Divine Feminine. And that doesn't mean you lay the law down and, you know, say you've got to do this, you've got to do that. You allow them the time, space and room to do it their way. It means you know who you are and what you want. And you know that everything is happening for your highest good. And you're not a walkover. You're saying, I know that you're growing up because of our connection. So I'm going to focus on what makes me happy. And what I'm passionate about, my goals during the separation. That's what I'm going to focus on. So let's ask, answer the question specifically. So what's happening to the Divine Feminine during separation? So we've got, you realise that no matter what you do, if your twin isn't ready to accept your cup of love, then they're not ready. You have to work on you. So you can offer that cup of love. You can be there for them. But if they are feeling defensive and frustrated and in that victim mode of mentality, they have to be able to accept that, that cup in their own way. So you realize in separation, you can't force or rush this love. You can't put demands on it. You can't make him see sometimes what he needs to know because he'll accept that cup when he's ready. So you realize that, What's best for the connection is working on you at this time, not being triggered by him if he seems to be pushing you away or blocking you or rejecting you. Remembering the love is always there and the love is always real and the power of the love. You realise that they are working hard for the future. So during separation, there's a lot of hard work taking place. You're both learning and growing. You're learning who you are spiritually to be able to commit to the love. And you realize that you are the true love in each other's lives. You dream about each other. You connect through telepathy and signs. You connect in other ways. And you're working out what you want. So during separation, you both work out what the next steps are and what to do. So feminines, you rise up because nothing can keep you down and you get ready to speak your truth and you reflect on and heal the past through meditation and self-care. And you also know that by focusing on service and learning to give to yourself what you need, you're absolutely where you need to be. And this card's moving at the bottom of the deck. I know in my heart that you are loyal to me and I'm ready for a change. So you go through all these things. These cards are moving at the bottom of the deck here. 
I'm no longer taking things personally or getting involved in drama. So during separation, you learn to rise above the struggle and focus on power. And then you realize that any challenges or blocks will be lifted away. So what's challenging the connection today? And it may be the masculine's being a bit defensive. Balance. Remember what challenges the connection is. It needs to be equally balanced. So that's not a challenge at all. That's something that's good for you. It works for the connection because you don't want your twin while they are in that up and down energy or that back and forth vibration. You want them when they can open up and be with you, body, heart, mind and soul. And that's victory. So really the challenge or the block leads to a victory. It leads to exactly what you need. And will they leave the karmic partner or the karmic energy? And, you know, there's divorce there. So big sign about a divorce ahead. All you have to do is let go. Let go of the struggle and the fear. And the masculine sometimes struggle to let go because of what they've built up in their life. You know, things in their life they have that they're afraid of losing. And that doesn't mean the karmic partner. It may mean their lifestyle, money, their job, their situation. And they have to make a decision. So while they're making that decision, focus on you, focus on peace. They make that decision because they don't want to be back and forth. They know where they want to be. You're their light, divine, feminine. So what this has shown you is there's so much hope here for them to leave the karmic partner because they don't want to be in between two worlds. They want to be with you where they're guided to be. And that's what they're reflecting on. And you know that in your heart and soul because of your intuition. So the real message is, regardless of a karmic situation or anything else that's going on, expect them because they're on their way. And you are preparing for this reunion. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.